Yeah, I already how I'm gonna be at too. Um, the current state of Ski Mask the Slump God. Ski Mask the Slump God was a pillar of the SoundCloud rap era. But at this point, he's definitely surpassed the label of being called a SoundCloud rapper. He has a massive list of hits and has collaborated with many other legendary rappers of our generation. With his last official album being released almost five years ago, he hasn't been very active when it comes to putting out new music, only releasing a handful of singles and a mixtape two years ago. And I think this is one of the reasons that a lot of people ask the question, is Ski Mask the Slump God still relevant or has he fallen off? It seems like nowadays people think just- I think he still, I think he fall off, I ain't gonna lie. He fall off. The only song, the only song that I, that I found on fire was Catch Me Outside, I ain't gonna lie. That song was, that's the only song I like of him. Because a rapper isn't in your face 24 seven on social media or involved with drama, that it means an artist fell off, which I don't necessarily agree with. So in this video, we'll be discussing if Ski Mask the Slump God is still relevant and looking at two reasons that might explain why he's not releasing as much music these days. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're already pretty familiar with Ski Mask. So I'll plan to highlight some stuff, but I won't be diving into his entire come up or life story for this video. If that's something that you would like to see in a separate video, comment and let me know. For most of us, Juvenile Hall would be considered a step in the wrong direction early on in life, but this wasn't the case for Ski Mask, because this is where he would meet and become close with XXX Tentacion. After they got out of Juvie, these two broke the internet with their aggressive, mosh-style hits uploaded to SoundCloud back in 2015. Their unique style was known for its energetic sound, which blends elements of trap, punk, and hardcore rap. Ski Mask has a signature ad-lib style of rapping, which features a lot of repetition and rapid-fire rhyming. At this point, he's been imitated by many other artists, and his innovative approach to music has definitely inspired some of the new generation of rappers to experiment with new sounds and styles, further pushing the boundaries of what hip-hop can be. Ski Mask's success as an artist has been impressive, with several hit songs and millions of streams across all platforms. If we were to take a look at his Spotify today, he still has over 9 million monthly listeners, and that's just on one platform alone. He's also been recognized with award nominations and has performed at major music festivals, securing his status as an important figure in the industry. Overall, Ski Mask the Slump God's contributions to music have been significant, and he's collaborated with a long list of high-profile artists such as X, Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, Trippy Red, Oliver Tree, Chief Keef, Juice World, and many, many more. He even made a song for the soundtrack of the box office film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which had an awesome soundtrack. There are two main reasons that I believe Ski Mask may have taken his foot off the gas pedal when it comes to music, and both are somewhat personal reasons. The first is the most well-known and nice. maybe obvious at this point, which is the death of two close friends within the past five years. He's experienced the loss of several friends and fellow yeah, artists within the music well. industry, but there are two specific losses that I believe may have impacted him the most. First was friend and fellow rapper XXX Tentacion, who was shot and killed in 2018. Mm -hmm. Ski Mask has spoken publicly about the impact that X's death had on him and the grief that he experienced as a result. After X passed away, Ski began to develop a friendship with a new artist, Juice World. The two would become very close friends and collaborators, working on songs and an unfinished project together. Just a little over a year after X had passed away, Juice World overdosed and died in 2019. The loss of a loved one can have a significant impact on a person's mental health and overall well-being. Grief is a complicated emotion and a challenging experience. Within the industry, there definitely seems like a lack of mental health initiatives or resources available. The second reason that Ski may have slowed down with music is his physical health. Back in 2018, he shared on social media that he would be having surgery over his heart. He tried to make light of the situation and he referred to it in a joking way and called the health condition a fat boy disease. But even though he was downplaying it, it seems like a rather serious it's thing because he asked disease. for prayers and many of his friends responded that they would be providing them. It's still not publicly known 
what exactly the disease is. And that's fine, because it's really not our business. But it's no secret that Ski did not treat his body like a temple in his early years. Aside from his habit of smoking cigarettes, he claims that he used to abuse prescription drugs like Xanax pretty heavily. Perhaps Ski Mask has just been focusing more on- Stay off of drugs, kids. You are. Stay off those yuckies and all that. His physical and mental health over the past few years. Self-preservation is important, and it's commonly overlooked by teenagers and young people in general, because sometimes your body doesn't start to show the wear and tear until years down the road. Regardless of why Ski Mask has slowed down on making music, I think it's safe to say that he's still relevant. He recently performed at Rolling Loud California, and not only did he crush it, but it looks like everyone was going wild, as Ski carried his signature and contagious energy with him throughout the entire set. I believe that Ski Mask the Slump God is still relevant in hip-hop and hasn't fallen off. I'll continue to look forward to new music from Ski. Let me know if you're in the same boat. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, check out some of my other ones on the channel. I upload hip-hop related content every week. Thank you for watching. Have a- Okay, that's the bit. Um, yeah, bro, let me know what y'all think, bro. Uh, the only song I, the only song I like and listen was the song guy was the fucking the Catch Me Outside song. That's the only song I haven't listened to. I haven't really listened to his other other shit. You are make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You got all the vibes. Checking out you are.